Hello everyone, here's another quick update. Um, I now have the uh, homing process worked out, including Z, um, Z tilt, and then some of the parking macros uh, figured out. Um, it's taken me a lot of uh, iteration to work through all the different things. Um, so again, here's the same uh, homing routine for X and Y that we had before, um, except this right now I'm, I'm homing X first, um, just because of um, a slight tweak that needs to be done with the firmware to um, support Y homing first. Um, and then I have a clicky probe underneath that green tool head, um, and it's obviously not being picked up or docked at all right now, it is just um, fixed because I'm not printing. Uh, next we're going to do a Z-tilt. I'm going to use that same tool head in all three, uh, the front, left, and right corners, as well as the back. Um, as a, you know, as probing locations, obviously I can't get all the way to the very side because um, otherwise the tool, two tool heads would clash into each other. And there we go, our bed is level. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, move it back slightly. Um, I want to show the parking routine here, so I'm going to move the um, left tool head kind of into the center, uh, an area where both tool heads can reach it. Um, I'm going to set the fan speed, the park cooling fan speed, to 100%. Um, so you'll see it starts spreading up. And now if we select um, the parking command to switch to tool head 1, I'll click that now. Um, the green tool head goes out of range. The blue head tool head goes to that same position that the green was in. And you'll notice the park cooling fans have switched where the green fan is now stopped and the blue fan is now running. If we do that back, going to the other tool head, it'll do the opposite. Thought that was pretty cool. Um, there's also um, tentative stuff here uh, for mirrored mode, so I'm going to click that. Hopefully everything works. It is homing uh, the x-axis first. And now, um, if we move in X, um, both tool heads will move uh, opposite each other. And then, uh, let's see here, the duplication uh, feature. Um, in this case, uh, both tool heads uh, move together. And I'm not sure about that gap. I think it, I have something in my configuration wrong. Um, I would have expected that gap to be essentially half of the width of the bed. So um, when the blue tool head is at the very edge of its plate, um, the green tool head is at kind of the center. Um, but let's go back to uh, normal full control. And that is it. I'm really excited about this um, to get this far. Um, it's been a lot of uh, figuring out stuff, the uh, kinematics and figuring out which motors to swap and which pins to invert to get things to move their correct uh, direction is actually uh, it's a uh, mind bender. So um, next steps for now is to uh, get the hot ends wired up and get the extruders working, um, validate that I can actually melt filament um, and then uh, we'll see what, what goes on next. Uh, but hope you enjoyed that update.